Hello students. In this video we're going to approximate some partial derivatives. So here's the setup for the problem. Um, give that a read. We're going to compute some uh, temperatures um, adjusted for uh, wind speed. Okay. Uh, wind chill and wind speed. Alright, so here we go. Um, we're asked to calculate uh, or approximate the partial derivative of f with respect to w at the point 1535. Now keep in mind um, or recall that the change uh, or that the partial of f with respect to w is the change in um, f with respect to w. Um, so let me put some phrasing around that. Um, this is the change in f of wt in the w direction on the top. Okay, so notice that t, um, its change with respect to t is constant. So that means that um, you're that uh, you're only looking at this by column. Okay, so only the w's are changing. So you pick a t, a uh, constant, and then you only look at changes in the vertical direction. Okay, and um, on the bottom, this is this h actually is a change in w. This is um, really uh, the change in W is W plus H minus W, and then the W's cancel, and that's how you get the H. So again, I'll repeat, this is a change. This change in W is in the column direction. Now, I highlighted here the point where W is 15 and T is 35 um, right here. So that is um, what uh, F of 1535 looks like, but not the partial of 1535. Okay? So let's uh, put this definition to work. Um, now, um, f of 1535 um, is right here, and then we're looking at the change in the w direction. So um, we subtract the one right before it, that's f of 1035, and then um, we, look, we put that over the change in w in that direction, which is 15 minus 10. Now, how did I know to do that? Well, if I want the derivative of 1535, then let's go back to the definition. Um, this is the w plus h term. If this were 15, then I must have, if I'm going in increments of 5, I must have added 5 to that, right? This was 15, that means 10 plus 5 is 15. Why did I pick 5? Well, because the increments are in 5. That's how I knew. And then I'm subtracting the number before it, which is f of 10, 35. Okay, and then I'm putting that over 10 plus 5 minus 10. Once again, this h is the increment of 5 the 10 minus 10 cancels and I'm left with a 5 in the denominator. So this is essentially 15 minus 10 in the denominator and these are the two points I'm subtracting. So in summary, I'm taking 25 minus 27, I'm putting that over 15 minus 10 which is 5 and this derivative approximates to minus 2, 5. Alright, let me quickly do um, approximate a derivative in the t direction. So let's say I want to know the partial of f with respect to t at 1030. So let's see, at 10, w is 10, t is 30. So that means I'm going to be here. So that means I'm going to hold um, this 10 row constant. That's why I left the 10s here. So it's going to be f of 10, comma, let's see, minus f of 10, comma, let's wait and see. So I want it at 30. That means I want this guy here. Now the t's are moving in increments of 5. So I'm going to subtract the guy just before him. So that means I'm going to have f of t 30 minus f of t 35 and then that'll be 30 minus 35 and then I just that means I'm taking 21 minus 27 over 30 minus 35 and that reduces to minus 6 over 5 which is 6 over 5 and that's how you um, can approximate these partials remember partials are um, they keep one of the variables constant okay um, so that means um, when we're, take, we're taking uh, changes with respect to W, we're only going in the vertical direction. So if you're taking changes with respect to T, we'd be going in the horizontal directions. Okay, good luck.